All right, folks, in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the energy of a mole of photons of blue light. Now, I'm not talking about just one photon. I'm talking about a mole of photons. Now, in this calculation, we're going to be using two different equations. We're going to be using Planck's uh, constant uh, in one equation where we have the energy of a photon equals uh, Planck's constant times V, which is frequency of the photon. So basically we have this. We have energy of a photon. That's energy per photon. Okay, That's why they write it like this. Equals H, which is Planck's constant, uh, times V, which remember that is the frequency of a photon. Now that's per photon. Now Planck's constant you need to just memorize. Planck's constant is the following. H equals 6.626 .6 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times a second. Now, if you'll notice energy, the units of energy is joules. That's why you see joules in Planck's constant. Now, the other equation is going to be one that we visited back on on frequency and wavelength, which is the speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. And remember, it also had a constant of C equals 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Now, like I said, if you are very picky about this number, use 2.98 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. For those of you who are physicists or mathematicians. But in chemistry class, my students and I, this is what we use. So just use it. Now, the reason why we're going to have to involve this equation here is uh, because they only told us the wavelength of blue light. So we're going to have to calculate uh, the wavelength, uh, take this wavelength and calculate frequency. So we need to get this V by itself and plug it into this one. Okay, so we're doing uh, multiple calculations here. So let's just go ahead and get started and knock this out. Now if you're solving this for uh, V so you can plug it into here, you need to get the V by itself. Now you notice in the uh, earlier video that V equals C divided by lambda. Now let's make the appropriate substitutions uh, that we need to make. You'll notice that the speed of light, which is C, is 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second divided by wavelength. If you notice here this wavelength is 4.00 times 10 uh, to the second nanometers. So you end up having 4.00 times 10 to the second nanometers. Now you need to convert nanometers into meters. Now the easiest way that I showed you to do this uh, in the earlier video is to do this drop the n off and change it to times 10 to the negative 9. So basically we end up having this, 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second over 4.00 times 10. Now watch this. I'm going to write it strange so we can think about this. Times 10 to the second. Now times 10 to the negative 9 meters. Sorry about squeezing that in, but that's a negative 9 there. Now when I do that, that would give me the same number on top again, 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. But now on the bottom, this is going to be 4.00 times 10 to what? Now remember in your math classes, you add exponents if the bases are the same. Since this is base 10, you add these two together. So this would be 2 plus a negative 9, which is a negative 7 and the units is meters. So that's 4.00 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Now, you punch that into your calculator, you'll get the following. You'll get uh, 3.00, whoops, my bad, turn the calculator on, 3.00 times 10 by hitting second comma to the eighth divided by 4.00 times 10 to the negative 7 hit enter, you end up getting 7.5, now let me write this down, you end up getting a very nice number, 7.5 times 10 to the 
fourteenth. Now, the question is, what's our units? And well, if you notice here, it's one over a second. Now, I know normally you would write hertz here on your final answer, but I'm not going to because I need to plug this number into this equation. Now, if you notice, we should have three sig figs. So I'll, I'll fix that for us. So you should have here, you should have 7.50 times 10 to the 14th. And I'm going to leave it as one over a second. So I now have my V. Now I need to take that and substitute it into this equation. Now, it might actually require about two sheets of paper to get this one on here for you guys. Okay, so I want to substitute that into this equation. Now, remember this is an energy of one photon. So energy of one photon, so that's per photon when it says one for one photon. Energy of a photon equals uh, Planck's constant, which is the 6.626 .6 times 10 to the negative four, uh, 34th joules times a second. Now what we need to do is plug in the V. Now the V that we got was 7.50, just to get the three sig figs, times 10 to the 14th and that's one over a second. Now the reason why I've left it that way is so you can watch the units cancel out. Now if you watch our units will cancel out and we're left with just joules which is energy. But the problem is they didn't want it for an energy of one photon. They wanted it for a mole of photons. So what we end up having to do is change this from being a photon to being a mole of photon. Now, to be a mole of photons, we have to add one more step because this amount of energy will be per photon. We've got to add one more step. That one step that we're going to add is this. There are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd photons. in one mole of photons. Okay, That way the units go from being joules per photon to being joules per mole. So we just enter that. So the energy of a mole in this sense is going to be equal to the following. Uh, 6.626 uh, times 10 to the uh, negative 34th times 7.50 times 10 to the 14th times uh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Punch all that into the calculator, press enter, and I end up getting a crazy number, it looks like at first. I end up getting 299163.9. Nine, that's what's on the calculator. That's actually right. And the units is joules per mole. But I need to put this in scientific notation because if you go back and look, uh, we've got three sig figs to deal with. This is a constant. Uh, this is three sig figs here. So we need three sig figs. So if you look, your main three are in the front here. So my energy per mole then is this. The energy of my mole then is equal to 2.99 times 10 to the, now count the number of swings that we did, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would be 2.99 times 10 to the positive 5, because that's a really big number, meaning one or more. So that's 2.99 times 10 to the fifth, and units would be joules per mole. Now guys, I know this is a lot to take in, but just work it a few times and just watch the video over and over and over. If you got any more questions, you can just uh, email me back or uh, you know check you know send me a message on YouTube, and I hope this helps.